Hello and welcome. <clears throat> I'm here to look at the two differences between the two Seven Wonders games, the original one and the one that just came out in 2020. Uh, the one on the left is the original box with all the awards kind of listed on it um, and a little bit busier of a box. And then the one on the, on the right is the new box, which is a little more <clears throat> plain, but it's got gold lettering and... Uh, a lot less going on. The original game came out, it was two for two to seven players. It had um, rules that you could make it work for two players. It was a little bit different of a game, uh, so they changed that in a new one. It is three to seven players, and uh, you don't have that extra rules to go to play with two. Um, it is still 10 plus, and it still takes approximately 30 minutes to play. Uh, it's still the same drafting game that it was before. Um, and it does have a few minor differences um, in this game. The Wonders are actually bigger. So that's the Alexandria Wonder compared to the old one, which was a good inch smaller. Um, on this particular wonder, it's the same. You start with the same resource, and uh, your rewards on that side are the same. They did change the artwork up a little bit um, on here. And then on the other side, the night side, B side, um, it is also... Well, this one does have a little bit of difference. Um, there's two wood <coughs> to get the resource, or to get the stage two, and three uh, resource to get the stage two on this, the new card, and three resources of stone to get the seven experience point, and it takes four wood. Uh, so that one does have a slight difference. And then Babylon... Side A um, is also a little bit different in, on how the resources work on stage two, and the resources needed for stage three is different. And then on the B side, your starting resource is different, and actually there is no stage three in this one. You just have the two stages on this one. Uh, next on side A, if you see, um, that one is the same other than your final stage is built differently. And then on side two, or side B, the dark side, um, you're looking at a slight difference on stage three, Giza. On side A, resources are a bit different to build stage two and stage one. Uh, stage three is the same. And then on the second side, uh, you will have the exact same setup, so you're good there if you're used to that one. Helicarnarsis. Uh, you have uh, differences at stage two and differences at stage three, and even the reward is different there on the B side. Well, you know, I screwed that up, didn't I? This is the A side. So the resources are different at stage one, same reward. Resource different at stage two. And then the resources are different for stage three. And then on the flip side, uh, resources are different on all three stages. 
Uh, so that card will be a little bit different. Olympia. Hey, I got the sides right this time. There is a different symbol there, so you'll have to look at the new symbol reference sheet. And then you'll have differences to build stage 3 as well, stage 2, and stage 1. And the starting resource is different. On the B side, completely different again. Uh, so that card will be a little bit different. And then in Rotos, side A is the same. Designers must have liked the way that card played. And then on side B, it is also the same. So that one you can continue to play as always. Um, one thing I do want to mention is the randomizer cards that were included with the first version are not included anymore. So you do not have those. You'll have to come up with your own random generator. I do have one on um, the nutgallery.com's website under extras, under board games, under seven wonders. There is a randomizer um, right there that you can use. So go check that out. The military symbols are the same size, different colors. So the old version was red, the new version is black. Um, the minus sign is also just slightly different. And then the coins are almost the same. So those did not change much, if at all. Uh, the, the scoring pads do look a little different. Actually, that's the wrong one. That's for leaders. Here you go. Those are the two scoring pads. So it does, does uh, look just a touch different. The actual age cards. Now these look from the back completely different. On the flip side, um, you're going to see that they used the same artwork but just redesigned the card. Age one does have one slight difference. They have removed the pawn shop and replaced it with wells. So uh, the card is exactly the same otherwise. It comes in the same. It's all the same except they just changed how it's labeled. Age 2 cards. Again, the backs are different. As you can see, it's silver versus uh, blue, so it's bronze, silver, and a goldish color for the three ages. Now, age three does have a few differences. Um, it does have the gold back. They've added two Ludus cards. They've added two castrum cards and they've added a decorations guild they've removed a few cards in there as well um, but the big change is the gamers guild the strategist skills and the architects guild are gone no longer part of the game so that's really uh, you get this nifty rule sheet. Uh, I never complained about the old rule sheet. I thought it was pretty decent. Um, 
So that one's this one, and compared to that, it's a little bigger. You do have this list of cards as well. Um, one of the things I don't particularly like about the change is if you're looking here where these where cards link, you use a symbol to link them now instead of it saying on the card what it's linked with. Um, I think this is a little harder to follow, especially for a younger player or newer players. You have to be watching to see if cards match or the symbols match instead of looking to see if uh, you just you can be looking at, instead of looking for just a name. So I'm a little disappointed that they made that switch. I thought the listing it out was fine. Uh, might be the one thing that annoys me the most about this newer edition. And then it also comes with three sheets that tell you the description of effects on both sides, and it also links to a QR code to get you uh, to get clarification. So that's really the updated version of the game. Um, I feel like these cards are maybe a little flimsier. Uh, so I'm curious how they wear. Because um, one thing with this game is you do use the cards heavily. And there's no way to avoid that. So I'll be really curious at how those plays plays out. How they wear. And if it's essential for them to be sleeved. Um, I was kind of regretting that I hadn't sleeved the original version, but uh, the card size is kind of a awkward card size that you actually have to go and look for that specific card size. So uh, there you go. That is the two versions shown up front. My pros are I do like the bigger uh, wonder cards. Uh, I've seen some complaints that it takes up more table space, but I've, I have not found that to be a problem. I actually kind of just like having the card bigger. And um, I haven't played it enough yet to know if the changes to the Wonders is a help uh, for balancing purposes or if it's just change to make change. Um, I will one day probably report back on how I feel about that. Uh, the insert for the box is nicer. It has trays to put the coins in where the old one just had slots for the card and then one bigger slot. So they did make some improvements to that. And um, my only downfall is that they didn't do the card linkage the same way and made it a little bit harder to follow what links uh, without really paying a little bit closer attention. Well, good luck. Hope you enjoy whichever version you get.